No, it's kept in by Reynolds. Hingston on it now. Also running a bit, but Hingston's giving it away. An excellent chance for Zebras. He tries to pass it in the back of the net, and it's a goal! And Lightning strikes twice. The Hobart Zebras again off to a fast start. Hingston trying to switch the ball pass without looking probably and it was pinched by the Zebras and then slowed comfortably into the back and they had a terrific finish into the bottom corner just where keepers don't like it. So here's Hingston on the ball. He tries to pass it back but uh, pinched. It looks by Pace and Pace has put it into the back of the net. Back to the action. Hoogsloot forward for the Zebras. Back into the side today. Clips it wide towards Dylan. Dylan has Park for company. Cuts inside and shoots. Straight at Pitchford, but a good shift of the way. Dropped the shoulder left. Moment. Other side really getting it done in the final third. It's the ball into the box again. Zebra's clear. Stone jumps. Ruth Muller comes down if it's Gerald who hits it. Ooh, over the bar. And what maneuvers goalkeepers do? Flung it. Long dealt by with by Little. He heads it down if it's Gerald though. Pass Fitzgerald to jump pole. He drops it for Stone. He hits it to Sice and he clips it towards Fitzgerald. Oh, that would have been lovely. And it nearly is. And it's a goal, but the official has blown. I am not sure. Is it perhaps one of those cases of protecting the goalkeeper? And there seems to be words elsewhere on the pitch here between... Hey. And Mulraney. Watman hurt as... Fitzgerald flew in with his feet into that challenge. A beautiful play by the Devonport strikers. As you can see here, uh, the touch from Giampoli to Stone to Sison to Fitzgerald, who ran in. It looks like Watman perhaps collected the ball and maybe had it secure, which would mean Fitzgerald challenging for it. No one in particular. Reynolds fires it out towards Bidwell. Where's the one-on-one -on -one now with Jonas Hour? We know Bidwell has the pace. He cuts it inside. Here comes Sison for the Devonport Strikers. And what a save! An incredible save from Watman. He used his feet to save that one. When you thought for sure for all the money in the world that Sison had the, the goals at his beckoning. Looked to have taken a knock in the challenge of Fitzgerald. But um, we continue to play. Oh, Bidwell. Tackled by Yonazawa there. Plays it into the box. It falls to Stone. He puts his effort wide. A remarkable sequence of events there. But the sun appearing over the trees here at Valley Road can tend to do that. Uh, straight in the eyes of the keeper. So he's got the cap on. Hoogsley with a chance to open up and shoot. Plays it back to Dylan instead who has a chance. He continues to dodge and twist past seven poor players and instead fires a left-footed shot directly at pitch footing goal. Chance now for Giampoli to play a forward. He has more of a company. Goes past him, Giampoli and Devonport getting into attacking position. He shoots. And Watman come to win the game today, but would not surprise me if he got on the end of one here, such as his class. It's a delicious ball. Oh, what a ball from Riley Dillon. Henry Fagg, the centre back onto that. Just put his toe on it instead of putting his foot through it. Fitzgerald wide here, calling for the ball. The ball through to Sison. Here's a chance for the Devonport Strikers. Daniel Sison, and it is level at the portress. Daniel Sison, the Englishman, goes behind the goals and celebrates with the home supporters. It is one all here, just after the hour mark. A good bit of play. The Red Sea parted for Sison as he went straight through the heart of the Zebras' defence. Not sure who was marking him or who was in that space, but... Uh, Jean Pauli here found space in midfield and just clipped it over to Sison, who'd lost um, his midfield opposite number in in Muller, and then he just picked his spot. Um, it is level, and I tell you what, this game has all of a sudden sparked to life. And here comes Ignacio Jean Pauli, the Argentinian. He finds Bidwell on the right wing, who runs it. Hey, can Bidwell get it across? He cuts it back. He swings it in. It's cleared by the little top of the box. To size it again. Who hits it? Oh, and what man saves! Throw from Smith, squared by Fitzgerald to Giampoli. Oh, what a block from Yonazawa. The Zebras hanging on at the moment. There's Giampoli at the 
Excellent ball out towards Bidwell. Watman runs back onto his line. Can Bidwell find a shot here? He's got oh Walsh for coming. He fires the goals, but Walsh blocks. Champoli tries to get past Hay, loses out. Sison has Hay. Bidwell once again and Walsh. Bidwell dribbles at him. Bidwell comes back to Sison, who is in the box. He has a chance to fire across, and he does. But Watman is down. It off McEwen. Oh, a nice little dink in for McEwen. Bidwell gets the ricochet from the challenge. Bidwell goes past a couple of shoots. Oh, Watman! Oh, this is, this is Jamboli. He saves block shot as well. And the shot, oh, from dance is over. But an extraordinary passage of play once again, which saw an excellent save from the Kiwi Watman, who has been crucial in keeping the Zebras in this game today. So the ball through from dance. A challenge between Little and Bidwell. Bidwell clipped it past a couple shots, and Watman's left hand was strong. And then the follow-up feed. Tackled by Sison, who clips it out towards Bidwell. And I'll tell you, it's on now. Three on two for the Denver Strikers here. Can they work it out? Bidwell, can he go? Can he choose the right option? He finds Fitzgerald. Oh, what a tackle from Giannis Awa, who came flying in, tracking back, and throws himself into the tackle. It's McEwen. And there it is, Nathan Coe signals an end to the game, which finishes a one-all.